Welcome to Bedrock Bookkeepers Online Academy for another awesome segment. My name is Joe DeChara, again, inviting you to our site, bedrockbookkeeping.com. We are constantly updating our content, our videos, our courses, all for you, the student that wants to learn about bookkeeping and the business of bookkeeping. Again, that's Bedrock bookkeeping.com and we welcome your feedback and suggestions anything that can help us improve your experience with us enjoy the next segment thank you chapter 12 the financial success mindset it takes a team and here we go there is only one slide in this chapter it's a couple of pages long and we are on the final leg of our journey. And first and foremost, I want to thank you for the time. It's been a pleasure showing you the knowledge, some of the knowledge and experience that I've acquired. I hope that you found this valuable. And I invite you to visit often bedrockbookkeeping.com. I will be updating the site and the courses uh, often and also I welcome your comments your suggestions I like to know what you would like to see in the future so let's uh, end this I want to end this the way I started this is really all about creating the story of your business which we can call books and records creating those books and records that will stand on their own and the ultimate way to do that is to not do it yourself. You see, having the financial success mindset starts with the understanding that you don't know everything. Nobody knows everything. And even the person that knows everything can't and shouldn't do everything. There are not too many billionaires, <laughs> okay, that or solo. I don't know any. Any successful person, as far as I know, will tell you that they actually owe, owe their success to other people. And what that is, is humility. That's one of the starting points, one of the keys to success. The humility is understanding that not only can't you handle every aspect of your business but it's going to hold you back if you remember in chapter 11 I said one of the roadblocks to success is the owner themselves I had a famous comedian one once tell me you blank at marketing so don't do that and that was one of those uh, comments that always resonated that resonated with me and I'll always remember that I hope I always remember it because the truth is that I'm an accountant, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm not a marketing professional. So what I did was I went out there and I found people that knew marketing. So let's get back to really what the course was all about. And, you know, it, it's about books and records, but really books and records are, you know, as you can see, is a lot more than just books and records. It's about running a, a business, a successful business. So the first step, in my opinion, to the successful business owner is knowing that you need help and not only that you know it but you're willing to seek it out the second step is being teachable and the third step like I said is about surrounding yourself with the right people and creating a strong team and let's bring this all back to books and records which is what this course is about in this case the successful team the successful financial team is composed of a you the bookkeeper and, the, and a good account a proactive account 
Your bookkeeper is really the eyes and ears of your business. You're not. Okay, you need to have a handle on the business, but you do that through collaborating with your bookkeeper and finally your accountant. Now, I believe that every successful business owner, and if you can find one that, that disagrees with me, uh, please send them my way. But, you know, I've handled uh, and seen firsthand plenty uh, of businesses that didn't have good accountants. Uh, and I know that because those clients came to me. You know, no clients really... Uh, came to me saying, hey, I'm very happy with my accountant. They're doing a great job. Now, I do handle and have handled plenty of startups, which is a, a pleasure because they haven't had any bad experiences. So let me give you, let me close uh, with some of the ways that you can actually find a good accountant or decide uh, who would be a good proactive accountant. And what I mean by that is not somebody that just prepares your tax return. And believe it or not, you know, I teach this to my accounting uh, students because I do teach accountants how to uh, start, build, and, and run an accounting practice. You know, we're no different than any other entrepreneurs. But what I teach them is it's perfectly fine to have a client that has somebody else doing the tax returns. The accountant does the, the controller work. I recently got a client who has a tax preparer, and she said she had an accountant. And she said she goes to him once a year to do her taxes and I said you don't have an accountant you have a tax preparer that just happens to be an accountant so an accountant to me in my definition is somebody that's going to be proactive in your business they're going to ask you questions they're going to come up with ideas and strategies for you they're not just going to wait for you to blindly come in with your QuickBooks file and a bag of receipts and do your tax return I don't do clients like that because I'm not doing them a service. Are they available? Okay, what good is an accountant if they're not available to you? Are they doing stuff in real time? Okay, are they up to date with their technology? Do they handle your correspondent? Are they at a loss for words when you ask them for advice? That's not the sign of a good account. Do they answer every question right off the top of their head? Do they answer your questions immediately? Or are they humble enough to say, you know what, I don't have an answer for that, let me get back to you. Or I don't do that, that's not my forte, let me either steer you to or talk to somebody that does that. Accountants don't, don't assume just because somebody has a CPA behind their name that they know everything there is to know about taxes or everything there is to know about QuickBooks. Believe me, there's too much uh, to know. And no accountant, if they tell you that they know everything there is, then you should run the other way. Also, they don't double as your financial planner. Okay, this is a no-no in my opinion. Accountants are not trained to be financial planners. Okay, Unless you have somebody who does financial planning full-time and just happens to be an accountant, that's fine. But financial planning is a spe specific expertise. So if you have somebody doing your taxes and selling you IRAs, you need to, to split that, that relationship. Okay? You can't serve two gods. <laughs> Okay, an accountant like anyone else cannot be a good financial planner and a good accountant. A good accountant will educate you. They will teach you. Not only show you, they're not only going to say, here's your balance sheet, your tax return. They're going to teach you what the story of your business is. And last but not least, for every small business, cash flow. Your accountant should be showing you ways or coming up with ideas to help improve your cash flow. 
let's face it, you could be making plenty of money and not have cash flow coming in. It's a science. Okay, it, it has to do with numbers, uh, history, uh, you know, terms, procedures, and, and that's what it's all about. And that wraps up my guide, really, to learning how to tell the documented story of your business, also known as your books and records. My name is Joe DiCara. I thank you for spending this time with me. Come back often. And I am over and out. Good luck. God bless. Thank you. And that wraps up another awesome episode of Bedrock Bookkeepers Online Academy. Joe DiCherry here inviting you back to our site bedrockbookkeeping.com. Check us out for the latest and greatest offers, discounts, updates and content, videos, new courses. Okay, again, bedrockbookkeeping.com. Joe DiCara, over and out. Looking forward to seeing you at the next segment.